what's up guys? This is the Brave Woman and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Dead War Let's Play is the Kingdom of Mysore. And in this episode, uh, the Prussians have kind of screwed up big time. Because rather than attacking me with one combined fleet of both their stacks, they've decided they want to inset me with one portion of their fleet. So we've got plenty of reserves, including a Russian sloop of war who wants to join in. But let's have at them. Uh, the bulk of the... Uh, the Prussian fleet is depleted, or is damaged, and is just a mixture of 5th and 6th rates, so in of themselves they are not particularly uh, dangerous, so I'm not that bothered about them. And the main thing will be, I, don't, I want to try and minimise my use of the second fleet, fundamentally. Ideally if I can take, on, or take and or destroy all of these ships. Let me show First, first, okay. I'm loath to my heavy first up front, because that's usually a recipe for your Admiral to be killed. But let's put him up there. Thirds following at the rear with the fourth here. Not fantastic placement for my line. That will have to do. They are coming right for my line. Which in of itself isn't the end of the world. Actually no, they are going to try and go for the head. Good. So what I'm going to do though, because things are taking a bit of time, I'm going to chop the recording and bring you guys back when battle is joined. So see you in a second everyone. And we are back back and my fleet will soon be engaging. The Russian sloop is going to try and sneak its way through my lines and I do actually have some reserves or reinforcements rather coming in. Coming in slowly because they are not really sailing into the wind. I need to make sure my heavy first is at full chat so it doesn't slow everything else down. This third rate is making good progress but I'm probably... Yeah, I'm in a position now where I can start to blink at the enemy fleet. Maybe even take a portion of my fleet and sail it around like so. Then the head of my column. And continue to engage the enemy. Make sure the guys up front are sailing. Full we'll sail. I mean, yeah, it's not going to be the most optimal layout, but I'm going to need to try and get some ships up front of the enemy fleet. Otherwise, it's going to be a bit of a bit of a slow one. But let's make sure I am. Um, I have my heavyweight ships up front. Just so I don't lose too many, I don't get take too much damage from their little rubbish boats. So third rates will be in a good position. May even bring you guys about as well. Keep hitting them. Any that miss the privateer will be hitting the first rate, although we haven't really done much in the way of damage. Make sure the make sure the these ships are suitably pivoting. Try and make as good progress as you can. I fear my admiral may be in some sort of trouble. Because that heavy first rate is going to cause some damage. Fleet to the rear is pushing up. I mean, the Russian sloop of war. Brave sloop. But I'm afraid it's not going to be... 
don't want to be super helpful. You just drop anchor, to be honest. These guys all can just sit here and engage the chaff of the Prussian fleet. Yeah, they're getting aware, they're, they're realizing that I am planning on somewhat cutting them off. I mean, look at this little brave fella. Yeah, the privateer's sinking. Just keep firing. You can't really do much more than attack their weaker ships, because their, their heavies aren't actually in range, although we are hitting them with secondary effects. Sixth rate's been captured. Yeah, they are capturing it as well. They are going to take it. You're going to need to make sure you are getting as up threat as you can, because that heavy first is coming for you. Not an ideal way to spend my spend my firepower. Make sure you are getting some shots onto the enemy fleet as you progress. You have to wonder if he's going to come around here and try and cut into my battle fleet. He is. He's probably going to try and sail straight into the guts of the, the beast. You may well be. So let's begin to swing some of these guys around. You hold where you are. You continue to sail up. Yeah, these ships try to get behind my line to act as a bit of a reserve. It does look like they have they've chicaned around these ships and they're sinking upright. Yeah, they're attempting a breakthrough. Yeah, there goes my Admiral. Classic. Oh no, Russian Admiral. Whew. You're going to try and cut around this direction. Feel free to fire as she bears. They're okay, beginning to engage. You get ready to reload with the No, you're not your way too far out of the chain. So you may have to pivot out as well. Continue to engage Orion. It's third rate, sneaking up in the rear. Make sure my heavies at full sail, to be honest, and the first. The second rate will bump along at the back. They'll stay with them. Stick rate's taking hits. She's on fire, which is quite interesting. So my heavy hitters, they're doing good work. Okay, they've redeployed again. Because you're up, you're in the right position, you're gonna keep pushing up. You're gonna push up as well. Sixth rate, upset. to try and get into position. You're going to have to keep firing from range. I think, to be honest, you two are also going to... Actually, no, you're going to just hold 
in case they in case they do continue to push my main line. Pivot, good sir, pivot. Yeah, they are going to. They might be doing the same again, trying to get around the fifth rate. So the heavy first Koenig is still back there. 122 guns. So we've knocked out some of Orion's main starboard battery. You're going to pivot. Although you're going to... No, you're going to fire round shot broadside. You're not going to waste your shot on Ekismund. You're going to continue pushing down here as well. Begin to blast them with chain. So your la your port or larboard is it larboard? That battery's gonna get a bit of a hammering. But then you're gonna start firing chain at will. You're both gonna fire round shots. You continue to pivot. Heavy first is gonna get into position imminently. Dolsmund is going down. A lot of shots into Rock Rochin, Roken. Third rate. Gonna sail into a decent position to their rear. You guys are both going to blast chain into Orion's, into Orion's sails. Try and knock out one of her masts. She's causing a lot of damage. Now you're going to fire a round shot. These guys are the best place to fire chain. Her main mast is gone. Huzzah! Put some shots in, knock out the main mast of the second rate. Oh, her mizzen's gone. She's on fire and she surrendered. Excellent. There's another mast going down. Yeah, the mizzen on lax. Lax, lax. There we go. Orion's lost her entire mast structure. Having to thread the needle. Let's bring you. One of you guys keep pushing north. And there's a me getting get into the gap here. Oh, the breakout is on. My heavy ships can just sail it sail at full speed okay these true these ships push the left side of their formation this third rate ship of the line is looking upset you guys keep bombarding these ships at the head of their line Pushing close to Koenig, you want to get ready to try to give them some chain shot. And the second rate is still in a position to open up. So let 
fire in. You're gonna fire round shot because you're in range. You're able to engage Inga. You men just hold. Oh, sick trace exploded. Inga's on fire. Oh, Roken is on fire. Is Orion gonna explode? I hope not. That's one of the ones we'd like to capture. A considerable amount of firepower is being... I mean, they're just pushing. They're just pushing the gap. Fire as the target's bare. That's where we are. Keep blasting chain shot. Inga may explode and take out Lux. You men try get around the stern. Get ready to fire chain into Koenig. Koenig's gonna need some taking down. Third rate's pushing in. Okay, we need to get in ahead of them to slow them down. Okay, you need to get in behind the heavies there. Knocked out another mast. You're going to be in a position to open fire. Knocked out Koenig's main man, Mizzen. Oh, the Ryan's on fire and just got broadsided by the second rate ship of the line. We're upset, that could be a big explosion. Yeah, that's caused our ship to. Koenig's are going up. Well, there goes Orion. Koenig's heavily on fire. Poor broadside into the side of that third rate. Yeah, Koenig's going down for the count. Yeah, they're not going to put that out. Abandoned ship mateys! Cut across the ship, you're going to push south. You're just gonna drop anchor and shoot at Lux. Lux. New ship sail on. By your broadside. Outpace the ship so you can get ahead of her. Yeah, well there goes. There goes one of the other big ships that we'd like to have captured, but we've actually managed to destroy. There you go, pull ahead of her. Come on, dragon, use your use your port battery to engage Adrian. Sh shots away. Hit the rear mast, there she goes, with sailors falling to their doom. Routing but dismasted. Blaster at close range, a round shot. May not get the prizes that we would like to have taken. Adrian surrendered. Gorbin surrendered. Shaken. Okay, these ships push on to the south. No, not Inga. There's so few ships we've actually... Most of their ships are just blowing up. 
Yorch could try and get around them by a chain shot into their masts. Just a second. Nice. So. Okay. Pivoting. There's only one ship left. Or two ships left, but they both they're both looking quite uh, dicey. Get your guns up. Lux has surrendered. Bit of fratricide. There goes your last mast. Looks like it's just bombard. Attack the ship, everything we got now. No need to fire chain at all. There we go. Surrendering. It's all down to this last ship. So you want to get in ahead of her. Second rate, fourth rate, second rate. Team, what about you? Third rate. Just get in ahead of her. You guys shoot at range. Open fire. Wavering, come on, pack it in. You're stuck against the hull of another ship. Surrendered. Huzzah! Victory is ours. Decisive victory. And we didn't cause the, de the death of any of our ships in the following fleet. Lost one ship, sadly. Let's take all of them except for the fourth rate. Huzzah! It's the new chaps fall. Can you not fall back? Oh, sorry, I was waiting for the Russian ship to sink. So you guys get into Cuxhaven. Oh, that's not ours. Oh, I see. Whoops. Back to Rotterdam. Get our repairs in, and you guys make for... Make for Brest. You're one ship short as it is. Good, 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 good. We got any surplus third rates? Well, I can steal a third rate, push them north, and you blocking the way can recruit a second rate. Oh, the ship that was lost was the. Uh, was the Russian one. Mine are actually in all of mine were were safe despite the ones I did lose. So this army make for Norway. Oh no, sorry. No 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 no. Got a war with Russia. I'm getting my campaigns mixed up. Hey just make for make for Copenhagen. So then you are not actually knackered. You could, to be honest, you might actually just auto that. Because I've got just clear dominance here. Not even close. See, I didn't lose any ships because I was that dominant. Go get him. Didn't lose any there. And there goes a Prussian army. Hold the straits. Hold until relieved. So you are short reinforcements, but you're in a good position to push across and take Copenhagen. You're going to 
that's again, that's Russian. Just sit here, block their passage of troops across the strait. Berlin's ripe for the taking. Dresden's ripe for the taking. Austria's recovering. We're squeezing the Russians. Get you guys pushing up. You guys could go after the Russians, but you're the Prussians rather being not. Well, yeah, I could send you to go get them. No, oh, no, I can't get them. Forgot about that. You hold. Okay, let's build a madrasa here, and I'm in a uh, in Austria. It'd be good to clear you guys out, but I'd like to see if I can draw you northwards. I mean, I've got a bit more anxious about Berlin. So if I push you guys up, and you men put Dresden under siege, see how long they put up with this. Hanover, two turns to siege is completed. Heavy horse guard artillery. Nope, just keep starving them out. Right now we have the mass... Well, I mean, ultimately, I like to try and see where these guys go. Do they go east? Do they go south? Then I'm more inclined to push. You know, war weary. High clamor for reform. But apart from that, they're actually okay. Push up the troops. I do not want to ally with you, Britain. You are going to be an invasion target. Uh, that's exactly what I want to see. I want to see some see them pull troops away from Berlin. That's almost exactly what we wanted. They almost went for our bridge battle. But now we can threaten Berlin from the north. I mean, they seem more intent on protecting... Ooh, do I want to intercept that? Probably not. If you advance a bit more out of range... No, I don't mind that they... I don't mind that they regrouped. Pushing up an army to potentially raid. Ooh, they, are, they want to push us, and that's going to be okay. Lots of good artillery, but it's all inside. Ooh, the reinforcement. You are going to be awkward, because you're going to be coming in off-axis. Not the, end, eh, not the end of the world, but potentially awkward. Let's. Eh, I'm going to have to do it. If I had, I would like, I would have liked my reinforcing army to help out. But these things happen. So. We're going to get some inkling on where their reinforcements are coming in from because the garrison is not at full strength. We will be able to deploy some of our forces ready in response and they've got a lot of artillery so I would like to try and clear that out with my own cavalry. Okay, so I'm going to deploy... So... so Tactically speaking, they should come in from over here. So I want to be over here. If I... Well, if the map... If if the... Uh, the game treats things logically. So let's go all in with this idea. We're going to want... Our artillery in the line. Well, at least largely. I'm probably going to drop one set of guns at the back. Not really on the, not really on the high ground, but high enough ground. Let's drop my line infantry in. Get my Isobashi ready. 
drop my Islamic swordsman roughly behind the lines. Okay, let's not do that. Let's split a light and heavy cavalry unit together. We'll put them together on one flank. Same on the other. Oh no, that's the opposite. That's like... Oh. I mean, everyone get over, almost everyone get over here to help. These are not, this is not going to be our problem. The problem is going to be these guys. So I want my Islamic swordsmen in. I want my elephants in. You guys might want to take a position up on the high ground and get my swordsmen in. Start trying to pick off the horse guards. Get more of my cavalry over. Get my more mercenaries over. I might even just want to just kind of ignore. You men get there, then you guys also run. Those guys are going to get a charge off in the rear of my cavalry. Come on, General. Get involved. My Spah here getting involved. Islamic swordsmen. This is this is like the opposite of what I wanted to happen. At least their puckle guns will be kind of useless. Me and my Islamic swordsmen are going down. Okay, let's take you guys. Give it you. You know what? Let's take all my guns, get them out of here, redeploy my line to almost be the bare minimum against the enemy, because this is the main threat. We've got enemy grenadier guards in here as well somewhere. Send you guys in. My general's bodyguard is gonna die at some point. I suppose I may have potentially have wanted you guys to fire into the flank. Okay, let's put a Hindu musketeer unit out here as well. Because the enemy will be good enough to beat us. You may just blast them. But yeah, it's the, this is the battle that's really important. So that's the artillery going. So you've got two units of hussars, gendarmerie. Yeah, there goes my general. That was kind of inevitable. And as is... You men form square because the guard and corps are coming in. You guys get out of the way. Because we'll bashy get over here. The enemy mortars have, have, have ignored their guns, so that's good. 
Hizobashi get in against someone. Horse artillery is pushing in. Now you're doing good against the round against the infantry. Okay, you guys might get in position here. Yeah, I might have overreacted somewhat with my redeployment because you still need some units to respond. There's an enemy general's bodyguard, so we can try and even things up there. And my swordsman specifically. Oh, the guard decor broke. Form square, because they're going to run straight on into the great gun. You men push in. Uh, more men are broken. Breaking. Oh, oh dear. Swiss pikes. <laughs> no, Swiss pikes, no bueno. Not in a melee fight like this. I've got mostly cavalry. Get my guns to try and rout. They need to hold. Like everyone else needs to hold while the guns get out, although infantry's breaking. Yeah, that those pikemen coming in are disaster. Unless we go for their general's bodyguard, because all my guys are gonna get mowed down by those pikes. Try get my yeah native lances, Pahi. Lots of guys are going to go down because the Swiss pikes joined the joined the fight. So you men just push. Form line. See the Swiss mountain Jaeger we're not bothered about. Pikemen, on the other hand, they are very spicy because they are going to mow through my guys. Their mortars, their mortar crewmen are firing the climate point blank. Ugh. So I managed to walk myself into the absolute worst position. You men book it. Let's just see how many we can kill. Unfortunately, it's not going to be enough, but I do have another army at full strength. Keep pulling out. That's all we can do. Oh, so, yeah, this is this is like the worst possible outcome. Oh, and a full unit of infantry guards. Yeah, this, this just gets better and better. I mean, ideally, you men hold the line. If I can run a Hindu musketeer unit and pour volleys of musketry into the combat, I may be able to do more damage because they outnumber us so significantly. There goes the swordsman, Kizobashi cavalry. Just get stuck in. You men just shoot as many as you can. Trit them. I trit them well. well. You should really try and seek out the pikes. Such slaughter. Such chaos. Yeah, my Sapahi have been well and truly annihilated. Still, we still have reserves from the garrison pushing up militia, garrison line, more militia. Like this, look how dumb this is. I 
fire over here, militia. Mortars, rather. But let's just speed up time, because this is kind of a foregone conclusion. Getting some damage, but we just can't hold them off. May well, I was gonna say I was about to say we may have a chance. Not a chance exactly, but they quick climb the combat. That could potentially cause a lot of Prussian fatalities. So it's just my these last two units of Hindu musketeers holding off bravely. There we go. Yeah, this is this was not ideal. Close defeat. Yeah, it happens. It happens. Back you men run. Ooh, a much more suitable engagement. Ooh, I'm gonna cough. Um, but yes, a much more suitable engagement. Let's do that. And we can at least we'll get our own back against one Prussian army. We've got another army in the to the west of Dresden, so they may feel they have saved the city and they may have bought some respite for now. But rest assured, they have not saved it, and Cologne behind the lines will assuredly fall. Nervos belly, pecunium inf infinita, infinitum. God damn it, Cicero. Right. Okay, I want the high ground. You've come at me, you can come at me. That's my rationale. You want it, come and get it. So two musket units on the left flank, on the right flank, two on the left. Two, although to be honest, I could pick them up a little bit. There we go. You won't get to fully deploy. Let's put a dervish unit, a seek unit on the right flank. Pikes, Islamic swords, and natives units. They're spread out on the left. Well, I might put my native units in the center. Okay, camels and heavy cavalry on the flanks. Almost knocked out your 12 pound howitzers in the first volley because you are mobile. You have not deployed like your horse artillery have. And as such, you are at risk. But obviously, it's super nice that our artillery is bugged because that means we get a couple of extra shots. Speed up time. I think a couple of good kills. I think it's because their uh, now their cavalry, their artillery is deployed inside the dragoon unit. So now any misses, you're going to get some pretty decent cavalry kills. And you can push as much as you like. This is your gig. You have been intercepted, good sir. And you're going to try and protect your cannons with your faces. 45th Regiment of Militia. The once mighty Prussian army has resorted to using militia. I mean, we are winning this artillery duel, are we not? That's more like it. So it's time to push in. It's light cavalry in reserve. The gendarmerie, they've lost two thirds of their number. This unit of guns, you ain't for that unit of dragoons. You men ain't for 
this unit of horse grenadier guards. Let's bring my Sikh warriors out onto the right flank. Push my cavalry up. Yeah, you men load and fire at the enemy cavalry. Boom, boom, boom. Landed short. Oh, good hit. And yeah, now they're running. Wait a minute, this is unsustainable. Shots incoming. Misses. They're trying to engage us. They've knocked out one of our guns. But we've got plenty of crew. Again, because of the bug. Guard to cause going to get gunned down charging our line. Oh no, they're going for my camels. You are more than welcome. There's a volley of fire. It's killed two guardsmen. The artillery switch to canister shot. Send my heavy cavalry to go attack their cavalry. Get my infantry up on the hill to fire onto their flank. We've got melee infantry to help push against the unit of dragoons. Not that it'll be needed. Push the Sikh warriors to threaten the infantry here. Bring the dervishes up because it looks like they're going to go for a good old fashioned bayonet charge. Okay, push everyone, push these guys from all directions. Sipahi, go for the general's bodyguard. The intention is to surround these guys, if at all possible. Excellent, we've killed the enemy general's bodyguard. Bodyguard there, still up to no good. There we go. We've converged our effect against the enemy here. We blast this militia at point blank range. As you know, go for the go for the regiment of horse. We've got the camels coming up. They can pursue the gendarmerie. Islamic swordsmen give them an order just to get involved. This infantry unit can engage the mercenaries because they're not really up to snuff. The enemy are initiating a melee combat. We're going to push forward and engage the militia. The gunners cease fire. Go for the artillery. Hindu musketeers go for the horse grenade guards just to pin them. The militia are being scythed down by my Israeli. Eighth regiment is. Looking a bit peaky. You've put some stakes down, but it will not save you. Slaughter the guerrilla mercenaries. Push forward into the line of infantry guards. These camels are going to swing in to help out. To be honest, all of you just mass swarm, swarm, swarm. We are raiders. We slaughter 
we annihilate. That's what we do. Oh, you're winning slightly and you're confident. Take that. Yes, now you're wavering. Yep, they have been annihilated. Let's end that one, actually. I want to see what the rest of their turn looks like. We've done a good amount of damage to them. I'm not overly... I've only got 45 remaining anyway. Back you devils. That's right, you're leaving Sarajevo exposed. Ah, two guys to probably not auto-resolve that. It's knackered anyway. <laughs> Excellent, that's exactly what we wanted to see. We can push one up through this valley just to make sure we squeeze them out of northern Italy. So they are massing near Berlin, but now they are going to be ripe to be pushed off the continent. And the more the more you um, attacks you do against the Russians, the better, because potentially that's territory I can then take from you. Ah, oh, that's not good. I don't think the attack on Stockholm is going to work, fellas. Oh, 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 no, no, don't, don't do it. Oh, don't do it. I have a... Oh, did they lose a battle? They may have done, because that's why they all got pushed away. But if they didn't, I have a sneaky plan. Very sneaky plan indeed. What I want to do is I want to attack Croatia with Russia as my ally. Then they will help me conquer the city and it will belong to me. Quebec's going to Quebec. Come on, come on, come on, let's get cracking. So. Okay, you need re reinforcement. You need another set of guns. 24 pound of foot artillery. So you men just march across. We'll probably we'll probably take Stockholm, but I just want to make sure. Oh no. I want them to get across. Um but you men can replenish and push over. You men keep... No, did I lose my general in that attack? Or was he assassinated? Oh, that's this heroic death. Rebellion in New Spain. Mexican rebels. I mean, if you try and, if you try and uh, take the city, you will fail. So... Have... At it. Actually, where are you? Yes, you push up. It may do some raiding, but that's okay. Fleet arrives. Right, it's in Austria. I don't mind. Damned blast. You will wait. You wait till your. Actually, no, no. Come back to India. Okay, let's get our construction done before we forget. Yes, good investments. Then we get a new commercial port. Okay, now. And you leave Turin. And move you guys in. Minus eight, no way. More good ships. Of 
Got ourselves another force. I mean, I 100% think all these... All of these armies are going to be necessary. So back at Europe. Let's recruit an admiral here. Get them into action in Europe. The sloop can occupy Aarhus. The steam dried up. Can't do anything because it's not ours. You're building second rates. Okay, let's start double barreling some sloops because we may need them. Let's push into the Baltic. Not a bad little fleet. Well, more about just keeping them away from bolstering Copenhagen. But my sneaky plan is to attack Sarajevo and call these guys in as my reinforcement. And they might not be super useful because a bunch of these guys have apparently been pushed away. But there's a couple of actions we could fight here. So we could attack this army and call in you as a reinforcement. Which wouldn't be a bad idea. You, if you can get away from that army, could could be the army that attacks Sarajevo, if that's possible. You're going to push up from the south. Just to keep up the pressure. Bam. Nope, no dice. Lots of traits gained. Okay, so now you guys can... We can repair all these buildings, then you can push up towards the enemy. You may actually just go here. Oh, there it was. It was back there. We could do one. Build a fortification. To protect this northern pass towards Munich. Okay, keep on pushing armies up. Vienna is unsurprisingly very unhappy. If we exempt them from tax, we get a bit of a break. But not enough. For the north, things are looking very vulnerable for the Prussians. So you require something useful. Maybe just get a Kizobashi unit. Push two units forward. If they wish to try and engage us, they can engage us. You need a lot of replenishment. Although ultimately, it looks like it's going to be... Oh, I can't even get dervishes here. I can't even get melee troops. Okay, you're going to be a blob of... Kizobashi infantry. You're going to be a... Something that holds the cities now, I think. Well, there you could help. Let's get rid of one of these. You're just going to auto-resolve or demand the surrender of Hanover. Nope. Then just auto it. They hate us, unsurprisingly. So where's the best place to pinch a imam from? Or can we demolish? We'll have to demolish one of your buildings here. I mean, yeah, they really hate us. Which isn't surprising. But yeah, we need more, more religious leaders. So recruit the sloop here. Okay, so now we start to look at oh, Portugal. You might just hold around here just to make sure they don't do anything crazy. What I'd like to do is do this. Because that brings in a Russian army, which would be, I mean, weak but interesting. The main garrison's weak, the troops coming in are a bit vulnerable as well. 
But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching guys, hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for hopefully the capture of Sarajevo. Cheers everyone. <laughs>